Good morning, class. Today we're going to learn about multiplying fractions. So imagine that we have this right here. One half times four fifths. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do a visual representation of what we need to do here. So imagine we have a rectangle, right? And the rectangle is broken down into one half. So these are halves. We're also going to break it down into fifths. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So let's represent, we're going to represent what one half equals on this rectangle with the red marker. So as you can see here, here's one half. Is that, can you see that? That is one half of this rectangle, right? We're going to go ahead and use this blue marker to represent four fifths. Okay? Notice we have one, two, three, four, five columns here. So that would be here. Okay, that represents four fifths. So what we have here in our in our rectangle, which our rectangle as a whole is equal to one, is one half times four fifths. Now the way to get the answer there is to look at our rectangle and figure out how many of these little squares are covered by both red and blue markings. Um, as we see here, we have ten total squares, and one, two, three, four of them are covered by red and blue markers. So therefore, it's equal to four tenths. Now that's kind of a long, drawn out way of doing it. Um, is, does anybody see an easier way of doing this? You can multiply across the top and the bottom. Very good, very good. As you can see here, one times four is equal to four, and two times five is equal to 10. That is way easier than drawing a rectangle every single time. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple examples up on the board and we're gonna work through them together, okay? So the first one we have here is four fifths times two-thirds. Um, Brent, what is our first step in solving this? Uh, let's say times four, four times two. Exactly, so we're gonna go ahead and multiply the tops. Four times two is equal to what? Eight. Very good, very good. What would be our next step, Shelby? Multiply across the bottom. Exactly, and five times three is equal to what? Fifteen. Very good, very good. Let's go ahead and do another one. Okay, this one's going to be a little trickier, but we can still do it. Okay, so we have one third, and we're going to multiply that by seven. Okay, what would be our first step, Jack? Would we turn the seven into a fraction? We could do that. That would be very good. What would the seven equal? Um, I guess it would be seven over one. Exactly, seven over one. So then what would our next step be, Brent? One times seven. Exactly, one times seven, and that is equal to? Seven. Nailed it. Nailed it. And what would be our next step? Multiply five. And what is three times one equal to? Three. Three, exactly. Very, very good. You guys get a pretty good grasp on this? Or do we want to do one more? One more. One more. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's use an improper fraction. And if you guys don't recall from our previous lessons, an improper fraction would be like five fourths. The proper way of writing that would be one and one fourth, of course. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use five fourths. So we have five fourths times 1 16. What's our first step? Anybody? Multiply the top. To multiply the top. And what does that equal? 5. 5. And what would be our next step? Multiply the bottom. Okay, and what does that equal to? 64. 64, <laughs> very good. Now is this fraction as low as we can get it? Yes. It is, very good. So 5 64 is the answer. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and put up a few more examples and I want you to partner up with somebody and go ahead and go through and solve it. So let me erase here. Erasers are working very well today and I'm going to go ahead and put up four more problems, okay? Actually, let's do two just because we're running out of time in class today. So let's go two-thirds times one-fourth and one-half times one-twentieth. Go ahead and partner up. Go ahead and work through it. Um, when you're done, go ahead and put your pencils down and raise your hand. 